U.S. President Donald Trump's overhaul of the National Health Plan, known as Obamacare, will affect the lives of millions of people. Many Americans, including those of African descent, are closely watching the process. Channel Television's Washington correspondent Mara Bird has more. President Trump has started making changes to Obamacare, but has two main hurdles to overcome. Congress and the promise to Americans for a smooth transition. These are just some of the reasons why he called a meeting at the White House with health insurance company CEOs. So I'm asking Secretary Price to work with you to stabilize the insurance markets and to ensure a smooth transition to the new plan. And the new plan will be a great plan for the patients, for the people, and hopefully for the companies. It's going to be a very competitive plan, and costs will come down, and I think the, the health care will go up very, very substantially. I think people are going to like it a lot. We've taken the best of everything we can take. It's our hope that Democrats will stop the obstruction and resistance, and that's what they have. In fact, they have a sign, resist, resist. They want to resist everything. The greatest concern of President Trump's health care reform exists among those with limited access to health care and the inability to pay co-pays and high deductibles. Members of the African-American community have already began to speak out about the proposed changes. Um, I do not agree with the changes in the House Republican plan that I've seen so far to date. I'm hopeful that the Senate GOP um, who are in power uh, are able to put a stop on it. I understand they want to slow things down. I don't know that their plan would be much better than the House Republican plan, um, but I'm hopeful that they're able to slow it down and that they have to come to agreement and develop something that at least is helpful to as many families as possible. There is still a long road ahead for President Trump and Secretary Price as they work with Congress to try and move forward with the repealing of Obamacare. From Washington, Maria Byrd, Channel Television News. Well, in the decades since South Africa allowed women to become professional boxers, only a few dozen women have taken to the ropes. Uh, the female fighters don't lack for talent, but they struggle for opportunity and recognition. Viewers Anita Powell follows one 24-year-old who is fighting for her place in the ring. Selena Mabunda is fighting in the shadows as the newest of South Africa's tiny circle of professional women boxers. You have fears, become scared of the punches, but once you receive one punch, you know that it's game on, you have to fight back or you go home. Her quest for recognition has been an uphill battle, especially with her own mother, who once tagged along to watch her train at Johannesburg's Hillbrow Boxing Club. You wouldn't believe what she said after I've done training. She was like, why don't you get a child first? <laughs> <laughs> she was so scared that I wouldn't be able to bear. She went like the way I trained. The gym is a male heavy space, but has trained several female fighters, amateur and professional. A prize fight can bring a pro boxer thousands of dollars. I love to train women because they are so fast to understand, they are so quick to understand. But other women say talent isn't enough to go all the way. Makosi Klabe says she was pressured out of going professional. Instead, she became a coach. Ooh, my mother. <laughs> so my mother, she didn't like it. That's my father to tell me I must stop because they don't like boxing. I said, what can I do? Because I love boxing all my heart. So my mother, she asked me no. So it's how I stop. Then I asked coach, coach, I like sports and I can't sit back, do nothing. South Africa sports minister recently vowed to increase opportunities for women boxers, but there just aren't enough women in the sport. Even at this gym, women fighters often train with men. Most of the time we find that there is a tournament, but there is not even one female boxer inside of that tournament. They're all male. Mobunda doesn't have a fight coming up, despite having recently passed the test to go pro. But when she does, she says, she plans to come out swinging and get that knockout. 
Anita Powell, VOA News, Johannesburg. And that's a tough girl. That's our show for today. Be sure to watch Africa 54 at voaafrica.com. Uh, you can find all our shows there and also get the world's biggest news stories online. I'm Vincent McCor in Washington. Chamberlain has our last word from Lagos. We look forward to bringing you another show next week. Check out our channel's website too. It's channelstv.com for all our local news and programming. I'm Chamberlain Usa. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.